Hi guys, yes, I think it's very appropriate. Oh, I'll show you a better shot of my PJs. It, it says, I'd rather be at Hogwarts. Oh. That can wait. Now, this is my review of The Curse of Grindelwald. Yes. Uh, this time I actually went to two different chains. This is what I got from Points, which um, I think it, uh, you could say it's the, um, if you've seen the movie, this could be like the family history book. And from Event Cinema, they had one of these cute little mugs. Um, they also had a collector's box, which just had, I think it had Newt. And a little Niffler keyring. Um, when I went to see this in Event Cinema, I went to George Street. Um, if you followed me on Facebook, you did see that I did go to that particular one. That was in 4D. I also said in my that particular video that I would do a mini review of 4D. And can I just say, 4D, if you can see any movie in 4D, you will have an absolute blast. I found it was... Um, thoroughly enjoyable um because i had it was the seat was it felt like a really cheesy um uh, almost a how can i put it a um like a ride you probably would see it maybe um Walt, um, Walt Disney World or Movie World, which is similar tech to what they have currently at Event Cinema, George Street in Sydney. Um, I thought it was absolutely fun. Um, this definitely did feel like a sequel to um, the Fantastic Beasts and Where They're From. Um, there's... There's definitely, like, um, we see Jason again, we see Grindelwald, we see the President again, we see Tina and Queenie, um, uh, we see um, Clarence, uh, I think it's how you pronounce his name, um, but we do meet a lot of new um, characters. Um, we finally meet um, Tegeet, um Nagini. If you remember that, that's actually um, Voldemort's um, snake. Um, I, yes, this does connect with, um, this does feature Albus Dumbledore as Jude Law. Um, you actually meet Nicholas Flamel. Now, if you remember from, I do believe it was Sorcerer's Stone, we do hear um, Nicholas Fumel being mentioned a lot in that movie in terms of him making the Philosopher's Stone. Um, we, we also um, found out they actually have a bit of a friendship and this is definitely shown in this one. Um, you meet L Lin Lolita Lestrange. Um, now... If that surname sounds very familiar to you, that would be because of Bellatrix Lestrange. Um, we meet um, Theseus, who is um, Newt's um, older brother. Um, we also um, meet some uh, other characters. I'm just looking at my um review book <laughs> um so it was a lot of um a lot of fun to see joanna exp um expand on the world we um 
know from um, movie one. And this definitely works very well. We, um, the locations we actually see is we go back to New York, we go back to London, we go back to Hogwarts, which is a couple of different scenes. We actually, um, see Hogwarts back when, um, Newt and Lalita, um, went to school, which was really interesting. Um, a new location that for the whole series is Paris, France. We've never actually gone to France. So that was um, very interesting to see um, another new location within the wizarding world and how the French deal with the wizards and... So like that. Um, and Grindelwald to me feels like a twenties Voldemort. Um, in the way he um is promoting pure bloods and pure bloods are everything. Um, which is really um interesting. And there's a massive bombshell um, at the end of the movie. I don't want to give anything away. But if you've seen the movie, you know the bombshell I'm referring to. I've done a little bit of internet research since seeing the movie and writing it down. Very Hermione of me. Um... That there is a lot of debate and criticism about the um about the twist at the end of the movie. Some people are saying that Joanna is an idiot. Other people are saying that. They are really unsure about the twist ending. Myself, personally, she never really gave us any hints um, that, um, that it was going to happen. I think whatever she do, does for Fantastic Beast. Three will put that twist into some sort of spin. So, I don't really know. Um, I'm going to wait to see what Joanna is going to do with this character in the sequel. Um to put my two cents in to that particular debate. Um, so, with, after saying that, um, what do I give it out of five? This is still even with that um, twist ending. I still will buy it um this is definitely a five out of five movie even with all the controversy take it as you will um but i think you should still go out and see it i saw it as i said uh 4d which was actually a 3d um screening so um and then I saw it again um, at points in 2D. And I can say there's more of a push for the 2D. But if you can um, see this in 3D, uh, I think 
and I didn't really stick around very much for the credits. Um, to say if this was a post conversion or was filmed in 3D, but knowing Joanna and um, David Yens, um, jo uh, Joanna is Joanna, um, jo J.K. Rowling. I think David would have insisted on this to be filmed in 3D. But with the fact that I could only find a handful of th 3D showings is automatically telling me this is a post-conversion job. Um, but what do you think of um, Fantastic Beats 2? The Curse of Grindelwald. Please write down in the comment section below. Um, if there's a movie you would like me to check out, please also write that comment in down in the comment section below. And I shall see you in another video. I shall see you very, very soon. Ciao.